The Chinese Premier Li Qiang is leading a delegation to Germany meant to increase economic ties. The talks between Li and Chancellor Olaf Scholz will be joined by ministers from both countries. Climate change is set to be the main focus and Berlin is seeking a larger role in China's electric vehicle market. It also wants to discourage Beijing from supporting Russia in its war in Ukraine. Joining me from Berlin is Steph Fassen. So, Steph, tell us more about what's on the agenda for this first consultative meeting in three years. Well, the Chinese Premier was just welcomed uh, with military honors here at the Chancellery in Berlin. And now the two leaders, uh, Olaf Scholz, uh, German Chancellor, and uh, Li Qiang, will have these uh, bilateral talks before going into the seventh consultative meeting. It's the first time in three years that both delegations are meeting here. And it's an interesting fact that Germany actually asked the Chinese not to bring the usual large delegation of ministers of 20 ministers. So they basically have slimmed down this a little bit. And this also shows how Germany actually has been struggling with its relationship with its largest trading partner, China. China. Especially the, uh, the German companies, the car makers are very keen on uh, continuing their business, of course, in China. They're uh, keen to get into this electric market. Uh, to give you one example, Volkswagen, one of the largest car makers, has 38% of its cars is sold in China. So the, it's, it's a balancing act that's been uh, described uh, the, the meeting today. So uh, there will be a lot on the agenda, as you said, climate change, the role China can play in uh, combating climate change. That's one of the items that Scholz definitely wants to talk about. Yeah, and Stap Scholz has spoken about de-risking from China. What does he mean by that? And will this be one of the topics of discussion? Well, that's interesting. After the U.S. Uh, came up with the decoupling word, decoupling from China, Charles said, no, we don't want decoupling, we want de-risking. And that's also something the G7 uh, meet, uh, leaders have adopted. And what it means exactly, we don't know at this stage. Does it mean that uh, 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 critical infrastructure can't be allowed uh, into um, uh, Germany anymore? I mean, Chinese investment in critical infrastructure, like what happened, for example, with the Hamburg Port. Just a few months ago, uh, China bought a big stake in the Hamburg port, and that was uh, heavily criticized. Of course, Germany has this experience of being too dependent on Russia. At least that's what Germany experienced after the invasion in Ukraine. So now they don't want to make the same mistake again. But the stakes in China are a lot higher as the stakes were in Russia. So that's going to be a very complicated issue, and I'm not sure if Scholz is going to even mention the word de-risking today. Okay, you'll keep us across the story for the time being. Thank you so much, Stefan, for that update from Berlin.